Hello guys, welcome back to El Jefe N Scale, and I have a pretty significant layout update here. I've done most of the parking lots and driveways, planted some trees, and all of the, the buildings are glued to the layout. So, I'll give you a little tour of this. This is the Cotto Industrial Building. It was actually the easiest and most detailed building to get together. So it's pretty much a snap together kit. I this this building went to get went together in under an hour. So pan around this building. So again, that is the Cotto Industrial Building. It looks really great. And we have a back parking lot for it here, which comes off these streets. And then a residential house with a driveway. A little nondescript industrial building there next to the Cotto Industrial Office building. And then back here, pan or pan as we go, you can see the tree placements. There's this building, I believe that's a a Bachman Plasticville, but I weathered it up a little bit. And this thing was the bane of my existence. This is a Pike Stuff small engine house, and it is not very end scale, or not end scale, but it's not very uh, Cotto Unitrack compatible because, well, part of it is my fault. I, I realized that uh, engine houses, the ground should be leveled with the track, which I did not do, but. Hey, nobody brought that to my attention, so I had no idea. So basically what I did was I shimmed the building up with uh, some wood and painted it because I had to get more height to the doorway there to pull a locomotive inside of it. So there's that, but I wish I would have known about uh, leveling up the ground to the, the rails for an engine house, but it's too late now. I can maybe fix it some other time. So here's our little residential area which I cut out styrene and painted it for the driveways and kind of get an idea of what's going on with the yards here because all of this I know it looks pretty like why did he do the trees first you know it should have substrates and the static grass and all that but I will get it in I will get all that in so I'm not really too worried about working around the trees but I will make it happen but yeah, this is not going to remain a sterile looking ground or piece of real estate here. You know, it's going to get different substrates and turfs and static grass and so on. So there's that. And then here's my Santa Fe style train station with the little uh, static display caboose structure next to it. Got some palm trees in there. The palm trees I cut out planters and the uh, the sty the painted styrene right there. Let me see if I can focus in on that. I guess not, but <laughs> anyways, let's see here. Yep. So I got some earth colored turf in those little planters, and uh, I planted most of the trees. I, I made most of my custom trees. The only trees that aren't on here so far are the orange trees. I'm trying to figure out, trying to decide, should I put the orange trees up on this little butte up here in the background? Or should I put the little orange grove behind the residential homes here? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. So either orange trees behind homes or orange trees up on the terrain butte. So that's one thing I got to figure out and I still have to place more palm trees um, But yeah, I, I Finally got it going. I'm pretty happy with the results so far. I feel better that I actually have items on the layout now so thank you for watching guys and Keep for probably another big update this weekend. I'm gonna keep working on this uh, starting Saturday Alright guys, thank you for watching and have a good evening.